Hi lovely souls, my name is Samantha James. Welcome to my channel. Today we have a pick a card for you. That is, what is your person thinking and feeling for you? And we will have the option to extend with more of an 18 plus twist. So we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Now, if you are new to pick a cards, what you're gonna do is pause the video, figure out whichever pile or crystal you're drawn to the most, go down below in the description box, find your timestamp, and I will see you all at your reading. Hi, pile number one, if you chose this selenite, this is for you. What is your person thinking and feeling for you? And we will have the option to extend and it will be an 18 plus. What are they thinking and feeling? So I'm going to start with your tarot cards. To start, we have the Ace of Cups, the Devil, the Magician, the Six of Pentacles, Okay, the Fool, so lots of Major Arcana, and the Six of Wands. Okay, you guys, so I do want to say a couple announcements up front. Um, the first is that there is construction going on um, outside of my apartment, and I, you know, have been wanting to film this video, and it's just an endless battle. If it's not construction, it's screaming kids. If it's not screaming kids, it's gardeners. So if you hear a little clinkety clink clink, um, I apologize for that, but I am going to try to be as loud as possible. Um, second announcement is if you guys want to know where I got the cards, I am now linking them below in the description box. Okay, so what is your person thinking and feeling about you? Group number one, I mean a lot of thoughts and feelings, that's for sure. With the Ace of Cups to start, I feel like this person um, wants to make a love offer to you. You know, that's very obvious with the Ace of Cups. So the question is whether they have done it already or not. And if they haven't, we have the devil right next to it. Something is chaining them down um, from making a move um, if they haven't made a move yet. Um, if they have made a move, I feel like they feel very chained to you already. They're kind of like frightened by how addicted they are to you and this connection. Um, if they haven't made a move, they could be dealing with some sort of uh, addiction or codependency. Maybe they feel codependent on you already and they feel like they don't want to go down that road because it's very toxic. Um, they will. They do want to go down that road with you. Obviously, they want to make a love offer, but they want to approach you in a healthy way, I feel like. Um, for those of you, uh, there's a small portion of you that I feel like are manifesting this person, like actual magic and candle magic with the magician. And so there's this small little disclosure I want to make about being very careful about magic to manifest a specific person. You know, you can definitely manifest your soulmate, but usually manifesting your soulmate is work that you kind of do to yourself from within. Um, you work on yourself, you get into that very attracting energy and they come. But when you really lay down your focus on another person, it could result in this devil card where they feel like addicted to you and they're not really understanding why. Now, this isn't me saying this is good or bad. I don't have an opinion on any of it. I just want you to know that this is what's happening. So this person is feeling very, very um, addicted to you, obsessed with you, tied to you, codependent, all of the above. Now, for some of you, you guys might like that. And for others of you, if you don't, then We'll keep, we'll keep reading this and we'll get into the extended as well and talk about the sex. But with the magician, I feel like there's a portion of you that are manifesting this person. They have not quite yet given you a love offer. And so I want to say congratulations because they will be giving you a love offer. There's just sort of an element here where they are, are dealing with some sort of toxicity within themselves and um, they might be projecting it outward. They might be projecting it onto the relationship. If this is a twin flame dynamic, there's some sort of like chaser runner dynamic or mirroring dynamic um but i feel like none nonetheless this person wants to give to you and they also 
see a victory with you with the six of wands you know they they do imagine their life with you they do imagine themselves beside you and they feel like it would be a really great life is sort of the vibe that i'm getting um this person could be someone that you have been dating um they really want to continue dating maybe you guys go on some cute and very creative dates i'm getting like farmer's market vibes uh, maybe like for some really cool examples you guys have gone on like a literal boat ride Whatever it may be, I just feel like you guys have really cute um, dates and a really cute connection. Like for the most part, it's very light, um, which is why this devil card, I think I had to make such a big stink about it because it's interesting. It's an interesting element to this. Um, for the most part, this connection is very pure and very innocent and very light. Um, and maybe that's how this person views the situation. They're like, I love this person. They're very pure and in innocent and light. So why do I feel so heavily tied to them? So that's where it comes into play where you guys might have like a karmic connection or a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection, that kind of thing. But we'll look into your oracle cards and see what they have to say. With the magician though, I feel like you guys are manifesting opportunities into your life and it's not just love. I feel like also some of you guys are manifesting like pentacle energy into your life. This person might also view you as someone who is just very abundant and a great manifester. They might view you as someone who is always in a very attracting energy who can really um, get anything that they want, including them. Maybe this person is also feeling like, how did this person get me? I, I, I'm really hard to commit. Maybe the person that you're inquiring about, group number one, is someone that is non-committal and used to being alone and not non-committal that they're a player. I'm not really getting that vibe, although we could dive into it with the fool here, but more so just that they are hard to tie down. And I feel like they, you know, they see you as someone that is very special. Um, and they can't help themselves but want to give to you and give to this connection. I'm getting a lot of um, passion from this and a lot of emotion. Um, as far as thoughts go, you know, this person isn't thinking too much on it. They, they're really going with the flow in that way. They are very kind of... Um, novice when it comes to relationships they're just like okay we'll see how it goes with the fool let's go down this new beginning la di da di da which is why i feel like this is the beginning stages of a connection um i feel like you guys have been he's been he or she's been like courting with you dating that kind of thing you guys are just sort of getting to know each other um but i feel like this person already sort of has a lot of feels for you you know more feels than thoughts if anything they think of you as someone that is just very very um classy and elegant and beautiful um, maybe you're just very like unique in how you dress or how you present yourself to the world. Maybe you're not like super basic or like just a dumb bitch. <laughs> not saying that anyone is a dumb bitch, but just like in comparison to the, the regulars out there, you're really sophisticated and cool and like a different type of breed. I want to say a different type of woman, but this could also be a masculine watching different type of man in general. So a little more old fashioned is sort of what I'm getting. And this person is really enjoying that. They, they really think that you're, they found something special and they're like, look at me, I found this person. And they're probably even bragging to their friends about this connection. Okay, so we have secret admire. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So the reason why they're not letting on the deeper feelings they have is because it's the devil energy. So they're very like, they're so awestruck by you that they're, it's almost like heavy to them. They're like, they don't really know how to deal with the fact that they feel this way. Then we have manifesting miracles. So definitely some manifestings going on. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Then we have, yes, calling in your soulmate. So yes, some of you guys definitely are trying to um, call in your soulmate here. And this is the person that appeared for you. And I feel like if you guys are, and this is like a tiny portion, so don't, you know, get offended if this doesn't resonate with you. But if you are using magic to really hone in this person, manifest them, you don't really have to. Um, they're your soulmate. They're, they're meant to come into your life regardless. So we have new love. Yeah, this is definitely a new connection and you deserve love. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you, group number one, 
um, have been on a spiritual journey where you've been really healing yourself and really healing your blockages, maybe even your inner child, and you've come full circle to realize that you deserve love. Um, this also, I feel like, resonates with this person's energy. Like, they don't understand that they deserve love. Maybe they do have commitment issues. Um, maybe part of it is like they've just never found someone worth committing to but the other part of it is that they're sort of like a runner like I'm getting a lot of air from this person they might be a Gemini um, but they just sort of have this like this sort of mentality that they don't deserve love that they're not lovable that that they're kind of like destructive and I feel like you guys are teaching them that they do deserve love and you're showing them like a different type of love like you kind of have your arrow and Cupid is like about to poke them in the butt we have supernatural dragon and we have magic. Whoa, magic dragon fly. Okay. So how do I fit this all in the frame? Let me lift this up here. Okay. So, whoa, magic and supernatural dragon, dragon and dragon fly. So <laughs> this is magical this connection there is lots of magic going on here and it is sort of supernatural how this came about and maybe that's why it's so heavy to this person maybe they've never experienced something um that has a soul tie to it maybe they never thought about it before maybe they've never thought about where their soul was before this lifetime and they've just never dived into this kind of connection before and so it's all very and fairly new to them but they are very willing to go down this new beginning they are very ready to go down it so supernatural dragon you are the ancient wise sage you can shapeshift at will mastery is your destiny rise with dignity and dragon fly magic i embrace my transformation i courageously let go of the past the magic of nature is in me i am brilliant i am blessed oof that's so cute okay you guys so yeah i feel like this person is sort of going through their own transformation and you kind of triggered that in this connection not in a bad way i feel like trigger is like a bad word but more in like a you set this person on fire with so much passion to the point where they're like changing and reconstructing their whole mindset so how they're thinking and feeling well it's very different than how they usually think and feel and it has a lot to do with destiny you guys were meant to cross paths wow the extended is going to be so juicy when we talk about how they are thinking and feeling about the sexual part of this connection so how they view you sexually how is the you know sex gonna be if you haven't had it yet how sex is through their eyes all of that good stuff there i'm gonna talk about in the extended version okay group number one so i love you guys so much and i will meet you over in the extended if you want to book a private reading with me you definitely can all the information is in the description box below i love you guys so much and i will see you all at your next reading Hi, group number two, if you chose this clear quartz, this is for you. What is your person thinking and feeling for you? Now, I just want to make a couple announcements up front. You can get these decks. Um, I have linked them below in the description box. Also, I have some construction going on. I'm so sorry if you guys hear it. I'm going to try and talk as loudly as I can in the microphone so that you don't hear it at all. But if you happen to hear some clankety clank, I do apologize up front. Um, and then you will have the option to extend this. Group number one was really interesting. And we're going to go into the 18 plus version of how they think and feel for you. So about the sex and what will sex be like and that kind of thing. Okay, so let's start with your tarot. To start, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the High Priestess. We have Justice. We have the Hermit. We have the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. Okay. So this person, how they think and feel for you. This person is very shy. <laughs> I feel like they're you know, you guys might be on the more extroverted side. You don't even have to be because we have the high priestess here and I don't feel like the high priestess or even the queen of cups is very like extroverted, but you're definitely more outgoing and social than this person. I feel like they're a Virgo. They don't have to be, but I feel like they have a kind of a, 
shell mentality, maybe even a cancer. They're kind of on the shire side with the hermit card. They have a lot of passion for you. And if they have not had sex with you, boy, do they want to have sex with you. With the Ace of Wands, they have so much passion for you already. They're very intrigued by you. Like something about meeting you and knowing you has sparked something within them that makes them want to do more and pursue this connection. As the High Priestess, I feel like they watch you on social media, meaning you might have your own spiritual practice and you might offer spiritual healing or spiritual guidance and this person like loves it they love to learn from you maybe this is new to them maybe they're not as spiritual as you are and there's something that they can learn from you and take away and they they really see this connection for what it is that it's very divine and and beautiful and i feel like they want to add some sort of balance to the connection i'm assuming that this is not someone that you're in a relationship with I don't even know if you guys are dating necessarily. This could be a no contact situation where they're kind of viewing you from afar. Um, they want to be fair towards you. They want to add balance with the justice card. They want to have harmony. And I feel like that's mutual. So do you. Um, they might be watching you from afar. And then I feel like you guys are watching them from afar. It's sort of reciprocated energy here. With the Hermit, I feel like they think about you a lot and they kind of scheme and plot and plan and think about ways that they can come up to you and pursue you or speak to you because they view you as this very lovely, very gentle and beautiful creature. They, they see you as someone who has a lot of love to give, who is very inspiring and just very magical in your own kind of right. But they also feel like, what would you want to do with silly old them? With the Four of Cups, I feel like this person is really afraid of rejection or they're assuming that you would reject them. Um, they view you as someone who is abundant and lavish and full of opportunity and maybe even like they put you on a pedestal to the point where you're kind of sitting on this throne and it's not realistic for them to come towards you, although they do want to. This person thinks about you a lot, like day in and day out type of energy. And they do have a lot of passion for you, which is why they, they won't stop thinking about you, even though they, they're not like approaching you. Let's see what your oracle have to say. We have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. We have time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. Okay, so with the justice card, I feel like this is sort of a matter of time when this connection is going to come in. You're doing all the right things. They see you in the proper way. Um, but I feel like they're working up the courage to somehow approach you very soon. Ooh, getting to know each other and worth waiting for. Okay, so there's definitely an element of time waiting um, there might even be a literal separation of physical distance. We have Moose, Wisdom, and Loon, Intuitive. Okay, so this person really enjoys your intuition and your outlook on life. In fact, it's almost one of those things where they don't know what they would do without you thinking and feeling the way that you do, if that makes any sense. Like if you weren't intuitive, they, they wouldn't vibe with you because I feel like this person is very wise in their own way. Um, they are sort of someone I feel like that is ruled by a Mercury type, meaning they think a lot. And so they do need to be intellectually stimulated in order to keep themselves interested. And I feel like that's something that you do for this person. And I feel like maybe group number two, they don't really realize how much you have feelings for them as well. Because with give thanks for the blessings of love very soon, getting to know each other worth waiting for, I feel like you guys are waiting and wishing for this person to come in. You know, you want them to approach you and you know you're not going to reject them because you have just as much passion for them as well, I'm seeing. Um, with justice here I do feel like maybe very soon could be Libra season like the end of this month and the beginning of next month that this could come in for some sort of reconciliation or maybe you guys will um, admit each other's feelings for each other so with moose we have let your head and mind reach to the stars yet keep your feet grounded on the earth listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul the ancestors speak through you you know much and then we have loon intuitive Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you're unique and that you are loved. Okay, so 
you guys have very similar qualities. Like, I feel like you also kind of go into hermit mode, um, group number two, and I feel like you guys like to take time away from life and, and sort of reclude. And this person sees you doing that. Maybe you're, you're popping one day, the next day you're ghost. And they don't see it in a bad way. They kind of see it as like, wow, this person is very similar to me. We could like go into hermit mode together. Like they kind of see that you guys could really be partners for the long term. Like they're this wise, you know, old soul and you're like an intuitive old soul. And you guys both have like your own magic powers that could really mesh well with each other. This person also likes the way you dress. And because you guys might be on the more conservative side, or maybe you're just not very showy, um, they, they, there's a lot that is left up to their imagination and how they think about you. They, they really want to undress you, and, and we're definitely going to get into that in the extended and, and really talk about that. Sorry, guys, about the tripod moving. And really talk about that in greater detail. And I'm also going to pull some channeled messages from your person. But yeah, if you guys were wondering when this connection is coming in and what they're thinking and feeling, well, they're definitely going to approach you soon. They are just trying to work up the courage, I feel like, and they're trying to get away from fear-based mentality, thinking that you're going to reject them. So just give it time because this is a love that is materializing and manifesting and coming soon for you. This person has a lot of feelings and thoughts for you, and they really feel like you guys would make great partners in a great relationship. Okay, so meet me over in the extended group number two, and we're going to talk about the 18 plus way that they think and feel for you. And we're going to pull some channeled messages. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me here. If you want to book a private reading with me, you can. All the information is in the description box below. I love you, and I will see you all at your next reading. Hi, pile number three. If you chose this beautiful crystal, I'm not really sure what it is, so definitely comment down below if you know. I found this in a tree. Like, I don't know why I was compelled to reach into a tree, but I did and I found a crystal. So that's pretty magical. So a couple announcements. The first one is that I have construction going on outside. So I am going to speak as loud as I can. I apologize if you hear any clink and clank and clanks. Um, the second announcement is that you will have the option to extend this reading and it will be an 18 plus. What do they think and feel for you? And I will pull some channeled messages. All right, so let's get into it. I'm going to start with your tarot. What does your person think and feel for you? Group number three. To start, we have the 10 of cups. The knight of wands. The king of cups. The Hierophant, the Two of Cups, wow, okay, and the Lovers this is pretty standard. I feel like I channel for like a some of you that are in pretty like happy um, relationships or you're like in a, uh, you're dating someone and it's very, it's going really well and you're very happy and stuff because I always feel like there's at least one pile out there that I channel for that is really doing well with their love life is like, got it going on and I, I'm really happy to be that channel because there's some YouTube readers that I follow that I'm just like Jesus Christ this shit is heavy and it does not resonate with me because my life is pretty like this spread so I'm glad that I, I can like represent this audience too all right because tarot is not always like have to be so heavy you know what I'm saying okay whatever anyway so who is thinking and who blah, 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 what are they thinking and feeling for you so who it is is probably someone you're in a relationship with or you're going to be in a relationship with but you definitely know who this person is they could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio doesn't have to be they could be a Taurus doesn't have to be they could have some air or fire we got pretty much all the elements here the Ten of Cups, what are they thinking and feeling for you, group number three? Well, that you make them super happy, that they feel very complete with you, that they could they could literally do this for life. Like, they could really be by your side for life. You make them super happy. They're very content. No complaints whatsoever. We're at ten, which is completion. So they don't have, like, even a, a worry in the world about this connection. They love you. They are so passionate about you. Maybe you guys are in, like, a slight separation right now. Um, I don't think it's, like, by choice or, like, because because of any karma I think it could be distance or it could be like this person works a lot it could be as simple as that um so you haven't been able to hang out but they want to fuck you like they want to come towards you and they want to rush in and they want to fuck you so I feel like it's been a while since you guys were intimate and this person really really misses that and they're thinking heavily on that too which we'll definitely get into in the extended and then with the king of cups 
you know, this person is very loving and very gentle and I feel like they do want to give to you, you know, um, they're very sure about their emotions and their feelings. This person kind of strikes me as like a divine masculine. There's someone that is, you know, they know what they want and how to, what they are thinking and what they're feeling and stuff. And they're, they're very self-assured in that way. Like they really, you know, they really got it going on in that. With the Hierophant, I feel like they, if you're not in a commitment, they're definitely thinking about how they want to be in a commitment with you. Maybe they're feeling like there's no way that you're going to be on the market if they don't scoop you up somehow, or they're feeling like, okay, well, maybe it's time to get into a commitment at this point because we've been dating for a while and it's, you know, it's, it's getting around that time where it's October, November, December and like Christmas and all that stuff. So this person definitely wants to make you a love offer. And I feel like the reason that they didn't before is because they like to take things slow. Um, and they really wanted to kind of see the full scope of this relationship. But now that they see it, they see it at completion. They see that they're very content and very, very happy with you. And they're very sure about you. Like there's so many, even just the imagery is like, yep, yep, yep. Like they're so like, yep. Um, you guys might have, some of you out there might have like lots of cats and this person might play an, an instrument of somehow of some kind and I don't know I just feel like this person's very gentle creature like king of cups type energy holding flowers they might give you flowers two of cups they want to be in a relationship with you the lovers like they, they feel like you are their lover and maybe you guys like PDA like outside and stuff and people are like oh my god these people are like all over each other but they definitely don't care like they love you and they they want to be with you for life and they want to be like in love for life and this is sort of like a true love best friend kind of dynamic it's very pure and very fresh honestly and it, you know it's really really positive so let's look at your oracle oh my god yeah we have past life relationship give your relationship a chance and it's safe for you to love okay so maybe it's you guys that are watching right now that are hesitant to get into an actual like commitment and this person is ready to get into a commitment um and maybe it's because you're afraid to get hurt maybe you even realize like how amazing this is and you're like holy shit i could really really get hurt here um don't look at it in that light you know definitely take this for what it is and don't take it for granted because I don't think this person has any intention of hurting you. They can't even think that far. They're so in love with you that they literally are only thinking about all the different types of new beginnings you can have. Um, and I also feel like this is a reconciliation from a past life. Like you guys were meant to cross paths in this life. And I feel like there's a lot of that going on. Like at least this day and age, like 2020, um, age of Aquarius era, because I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like the people now, like, um, alive today are here for, like, a, a deeper soul mission. So, because of that mission, there are more reconciliations for past life connections happening than I feel like maybe in the 70s or the 60s. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we have embrace. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Right. <laughs> through each other you find the missing pieces wow and that's such a lover's energy like you guys are definitely definitely for each other we have love dear so be gentle with yourself you heal with the power of love see the light in all things acknowledge your self-worth and grace so okay this is love like i don't know if this person has has told you that they love you if they haven't then i'm gonna be the one that says i'm exposing them right now and they love you like they are in love with you group number three and I'm happy to be doing this too because this is really beautiful and then we have partnership puffin so yeah two of cups Hierophant, the lovers I mean <laughs> they want to be in a fucking relationship with you and I, I that, that's all they think about <laughs> that's all they care about right now so that's very interesting because it's either you guys are not um giving them the, the green light or something's going on here where they haven't done it yet. Maybe they have, maybe you're already in a relationship and with this person and you're just like, what do they think and feel for me? Like you just want to know, well, they're thinking in terms of you being their soulmate. They're thinking in terms of like how attracted they are to you. They're thinking in terms of, well, they're feeling in terms of how much they love you and how much they embrace this connection and how this is like a true partnership. Like you guys are best friends. Um, if you guys got in a fight um, with give your relationship a chance, it's safer to you love. And 
it, it's sort of like you go on like a little argument, little fight and like whatever it is. Cause you know, Mars retrograde and the energy and shit right now. Um, and you were like, what does this person think and feel for me? I am so just like y'all group number three. I be that dramatic too. I'm like, what does this person think and feel for me? It's like my fucking fiance. Like, <laughs> so this person, nothing's changed. Like if you did get an argument and that's for some of you out there, you guys are partners for life. This person loves you. They have not one negative thing to think about you. In fact, I'm very excited to get into the extended because it's just going to be a continuation of this, but like 18 plus and you know, it's, it's full of love and beauty and I really, really like this. And this person really means what they say as well. You know, they're being represented as the King of Cups and the Hierophant. Like they're not going to fucking manipulate you or lie to you or make you feel a certain way they they even if you got into an argument even if you get into an argument this person has nothing but love for you I feel like they're very mature um as well like they might handle things immaturely with this like knight of wands energy like they might kind of stompede and like ram their way into stuff but I feel like overall in general this person is like very mature like at the end of the day they will right their wrongs and and they do love you and love conquers all and they're not gonna like go elsewhere or look elsewhere they're they have their eyes and their minds set on you so this is really really gorgeous group number three and I'm gonna meet you guys over in the extended version and we're gonna get into the 18 plus what do they think and feel for you in the meantime i love you guys so much thank you so much for joining if you want to book a private reading with me you can find all the information about that in the description box below i love you and i'll see you at the extended